This is page 23, etude. Here we have 16th notes and 6-8 time. Well, the counting changes a little bit, but the 16th note is still half an eighth note. Here, since an eighth note gets a count, then the counting is like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, so it's not bad at the beginning in the right hand. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. You go ahead and put a thumb on that because it's the only note you're playing. You're, it's okay. And then again. And then for the third measure, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, 5, 6. And that's it. Not hard at all, I hope. The second ending, you're just going up. Here, and these 1 and 5 on each other. You're just going up. You have to look down at the keyboard, probably. Eventually, you want to get to where you don't even have to look at the keyboard for that. But give yourself some time on that. Left hand, treble clef. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, quarter note gets two counts because it's in six, eight time. Okay. Second line, it's a G. One, and second finger. Two, or the second ending. One, two. Now at the end of the first line in the left hand, you're here, we've been here, then they want a thumb, and then a third finger, this is prepares you for the G. I mean, you could have done two, two, and reach down with the three and get there, but their fingering is fine, I'll leave that fingering up to you as to what you do. I'm not able to do anything, so don't follow me on that, just the fingering in the book is fine. Put the hands together, one and two and three and four. Second ending, one, here. When you can get that, and then go ahead and add the, 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 so lift up between this, lift up, and the staccatos, hinge at the wrist, whatever, that's fine. The left hand, keep it all connected. ending. Now both hands are staccato at the end. Dynamic applies to the right hand. Whatever you think moderately soft is, keep the left hand very soft. Speed wise, we're back to moderato. It's the overall feel of it. Whatever you think moderato is, that has to be accurate, no hesitations anywhere, it's fine. Now a little bit about natural accents. The sixteenth time can be who knows what. I can do this one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm feeling it one, two, I'm feeling it in three. I could have felt those 16th notes, I could have taken those in threes. That puts the natural accent on the E. One, two, I feel this in four. One, two, three, four, one. But then when I get to the third major, one, two. So it, there are different ways of feeling it depending on the natural accents. You want to feel it in two? There you go. So, something like that. You f that's so experiment with it and experiment with the different natural accents and find out what how different that makes the sound. Because a little experimenting now and exploring can come in a lot handy, real handy, very handy later on. So we're kind of expanding our horizons here and trying out different things on this music because it may be useful later. Hmm. I'd like to play this with you very slowly. Not going to do any dynamics. There aren't any really. But 
I'll give us six counts. We will do the repeat though. One, two, three, four, ready, go, and one, and two, and three, five, six. Five, six. Five, six.